Hello YouTube, I was going to share my latest project with you guys. Uh, this here is the tri-filler uh, coil um, jewel ringer 3.0 type uh, device. So, um, in, but instead of batteries, it's actually got um, super capacitors inside and they're charged by solar panels on the sides. So, I, mean, I guess it sort of resembles the satellites. Uh, so let's see it in action. See. And so this is the on-off switch and you have, you have your potentiometer. And so you can dim it, you know, and um, so um, inside um, you get your, you have your voltmeter, and um, you have your USB twin, twin USB charger, so you can charge off your iPhone or whatever. And uh, this switch here uh, turns one of the lights off or on or off. See. It's, so this is running on a sing, with a single light. So if you want to save um, your capacitors, you know, for whatever reason, you can you can do it this way. Again, advantages of using capacitors they last indefinitely. So uh, a device like this should last you a lifetime. Whereas batteries, you know, they have a limit to how many times they can be charged. So um, I'll show you the schematic for this right here. Okay. So we have our solar panels, you know, they're wired in series and then in parallel and then in parallel again. It goes through a diode to a series of supercapacitors. And again, they're wired in series and then wired in um, in parallel. This is actually an overkill. You don't need this many um, supercapacitors for this for this setup. So, uh, I, you know, I just had them laying about. I was like, why not, you know. And, and here's the tri-filler coil. You have the uh, 14... 14 gauge, the 18 gauge, and the 30 gauge. The uh, 30 gauge is the prim primary, then the 18 gauge is the middle, and the 14 gauge on top. And um, I don't know if you, you can get the entire schematic right here. I mean, and um, this is a little bit of a simplified sch schematic than what I have in here because I also, also have a, a you know a voltmeter just wired it ac across your uh, capacitors. And um, so, I mean, I'm going to do um, a montage of how I made it. So, hope you like this. And uh, this is an ammo box and on the sides I have um, drawer hinges. They have a little spring in there. So, you can open the hinge and it will stay there. And uh, to these hinges I'm going to attach some solar panels. So this is my frame for my solar panel. I drilled some six holes um, in the wooden boards and it's gonna sit like, like this once it's finished. And this side is uh, enforced, that's why it's, it's extra wide and covers part of the hole. Um, all, all the wire, wiring would be in the middle. And um, I have some, some Gorilla Glue to hold to hold um, these things together and um, so this is the underside as you can see uh, I filled the holes with um, um, hot glue to hold them in place so this is one of one of my completed solar panels almost completed I should say Let's see. This is one side so I uh, applied tape to one side just to hold um, so the so the solar panel secure as I applied the hot glue on the other side and here's the one that's in the construction here's the little, little cell what I found was um, the, the, the cell has little um, metal um, and this, this metal would come undone once you um, soldered the wires to it. So I had to use hot glue anyway to secure the uh, wires to the panel. Um, otherwise they'll just be flopping about. And uh, here we have um, a bunch of super capacitors. There are 350 farad, 2.7 volt uh, Maxwell super capacitors. They're, they're pretty expensive. They're about $8 a piece. So um, 
So I, I wired them up in series, six in series, and then um, and then uh, in parallel with the other six. And this is the um, trifiller coil right here. And here's the body of the flashlight. Let's see, I'm gonna carry over a little bit so you can see, take a better look at. It. It turned out really nice, so um, we have these solar panels on door hinges, and uh, on the uh, the underside, see, it's, it's uh, connected with um, bolts and uh, this this white plastic a cutter of a trash can, um, and um, the wires go inside. And I'm gonna have to drill some switches in here. In here. And uh, the transistor is over here. 2N3055 transistor wires. And uh, I used a hot, hot glue to seal, seal off the uh, connections. Um, and uh, the outside of the box is just gonna have a switch, an on off switch. Get a potentiometer to make it dimmer, and the potentiometer will be connected um, to um, to the middle wire. Actually, it's hard um, to explain. I have to draw a diagram. And uh, inside, we'll have this panel. It's basically a USB charger and a voltmeter and I'm missing a switch for the USB charger and I'll have another switch for the for the second light on top of the of the flashlight so you won't have to run because see that there's there's two socket two um light bulb uh, Edison sockets and you don't have to use both of them you can just use one or the other and I'll have to use a switch uh on that uh on the on the on the panel so um so that's pretty much it. All I just have to do is just put it together, finish finish it up. Oh yes, I use this um, uh, uh, floor floor liner as an um, as a way to protect my components. And as you can see, wiring is underway, and it looks like a jumbled mess. And here's the control panel inside. I'll post a schematic for this once I'm done.